Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's talk about the finale of The Bachelor Season 28. Let's get right into it. Two amazing women here. I can picture a life with both of them, but there is still a fear if that person is going to choose me. <sighs> okay, you guys, we finally made it after all these weeks. It is the finale of The Bachelor with Joey. This is Joey's season. Um, let's get right into this episode because we begin with Joey crying. So it's like a preview of what's to come. Then we go to the studio because they're watching it live. It's always great to see Bachelor Nation alumni in the audience. And Jesse says that history will be made tonight and that it will be the most heart-wrenching finale. So let's see. We pick up in the beautiful Tulum, Mexico. I just love it. So Joey is ready. The final two are Kelsey and Daisy. So we see a little recap of their love. And Joey is sort of narrating what he thinks of both of these women. And he talks very positively about both of them. He is for sure happy with who the final two are. So it is time for these girls to meet Joey's family. We see Joey's dad, mom, and siblings. He says that he has been missing them and then he goes through the journey. It started with 32 women and after weeks, it's now two. He describes Kelsey and Daisy a bit. So the first girl who goes to meet his family is Daisy. She brought a Christmas tree because she does owe a Christmas tree farm. She tells them about her hearing problem and her other health problems. She says that she now has a cochlear implant and that Joey has been very loving and caring. She says that she knows it's because of his family. It's because of them why he is the way he is and this experience has changed her life she was getting emotional so then daisy talks to his sisters they're talking and they're asking if she has told him that she loves him she says yes she's told him that she's falling in love with him um and she does love him and that's something that she wants to tell him she, and she continues to say that he has changed her life but it's scary that there is somebody else that he could end up picking joey then talks to his sisters and says that the thing with daisy is that she definitely has been holding off he can kind of feel it and it's a little hard daisy talks to joey's mom the mom wants to know what makes you unique daisy what makes daisy unique so daisy says that she's very resilient she doesn't give up on herself or on others she has always been like that she talks about the walls that she has put on before but with joey it is sc still scary be but she says that she wants to put them all down because he's worth it the mom says that she would be honored to have daisy as a daughter-in-law that was a sweet moment so the hometown went very well there were good moments so that was that then it's time for them to meet kelsey kelsey looked amazing she looks like a ray of sunlight she understood how significant this is she talks to the whole family as well talking about their first night and some of the dates kelsey talks about her mother who passed away and how her dad took care of her mom and when she was sick so just a little background so then kelsey talks to his sisters they ask her if she's ready to get married and she says that she doesn't feel like she needs to get married in this exact moment it's more so about finding the right person and then she uh it, they ask if she's ready if he proposes to her. But here's the thing. The sisters didn't feel like she was 100% in as much as they thought Daisy looked like she was. So the sisters didn't talk to Joey. They ask, has she expressed if she wants to marry you? And he says, well, we haven't like really talked about that so much, about an actual like, like wedding and stuff. Then these freaking sisters are sort of putting ideas in his head. They, they're like, oh, well, you know, when we talked to her, she said, we asked Kelsey if she was ready to marry you. And she said, yeah, I think so. Uh-oh. So Kelsey then talks to Joey's father. The father asks Kelsey, what if it's not you? What if you're not picked? And Kelsey cries and says, you know, Daisy is an amazing person, but that would be difficult because she sees things so clearly with Joey. Then Kelsey talks to Joey's mom. She also asks Kelsey if she's prepared to get her heart broken. And Kelsey says, yes, but if it's not her, she knows he will be happy with Daisy. She can see it being them, though. That's the thing. And the mom says that Kelsey, she can see the way she looks at Joey. And she knows that it's very special. She says, I can tell you how much he me he means to me. So this day felt a little weird. It almost it was almost as if the family really liked Daisy because she was the first. And with Kelsey, it was like, oh, OK, what if it's not you? So I don't know. So Joey and her say goodbye for now. Jesse is interacting with the live studio audience. He talks to some of the ladies from The Golden Bachelor. 
But then it is time for the final date. So his first final date is with Daisy again. They do something with like a sp- like spirits and smoke, a shaman doing something. Then they go into this sort of like cave thing, a lot of steam in there. So it's almost as if it were like a sauna. But Daisy is getting in her head a lot right now. She keeps saying there's something that is scaring her. They do something where they have to share their intentions. And Joey says that his intention is for them to be happy, whether that's with each other or not. And that definitely made her feel bad. Her body language is very off and she looked uncomfortable. So it is then the night portion of the day. And I'm just going to say, Daisy is boring after a little while. I'm sorry, she's she bores me a little. But they talk about the thing that they that the things that have transpired this week as far as meeting the family and all that daisy wants joey to know that she is extremely grateful for the way joey has handled this whole journey and that he has done it with so much grace and he has truly changed life and she wants him to know that she loves him she says i love you she was happy to say it and it felt like a huge weight lifted off her shoulders he says that's good to hear he was happy but he did not say it back then he starts talking about the idea of getting rid of one of them and how that's gonna kill him because he knows how much um it's gonna hurt the other person again the vibes were off like the fact that he was talking about someone not making it because this is the second time that he kind of shuts down any conversation of there being a possible future between them i personally think that it sounded like a goodbye from joey like him not wanting her to get her hopes up saying thank you for all the things you've done so then he says goodbye to her he has to leave and now it's really up to joey daisy has done all that she that all that she can and that's where D- daisy tells us i don't think it's me okay then it is time for kelsey's final date so they're going to have a little spa date someone comes gives them pedicures and they massage each other they cut back to daisy because again it didn't she felt like it didn't click last night but going back to the day it is the later portion so they talk about her meeting his family he says that he was so happy that she met them and i'm glad kelsey got to she got the chance to clarify what she meant when she told her sisters i think i'm ready so she 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 explained what she meant by that she tells him about the questions that his parents asked her she says that this keeps getting more real every time and it's terrifying to think that it might not happen but joey says that he feels very lucky to be there with her and she was so happy to hear that it made her feel so special she says i want you to know how much i love you and how clear i can see us and this like 10 years from now us being together i want to wake up next to you cook breakfast be your best friend always be in your corner then they kiss now this final conversation definitely felt much more magical it is now all on joey's hands then it is the finale it's it's the final day joey meets up with the ring guy neil the girls are wearing their beautiful gowns kelsey was wearing white and daisy was wearing red so then something unexpected happens daisy goes to knock on joey's door also i can't stand the audience's fake reactions but wait they made us think it was joey's door it wasn't it was kelsey's door so daisy is walks in and she's asking kelsey how her week went so kelsey talks about you know, meeting the family, and then at the day, she definitely did feel some validation from him. So Daisy says, well, it was not like that for me. The date fell off, there was something missing, and it was hard, and it hurt. But I, I'm gonna say, I did feel a little bad for Kelsey, because I feel, don't get me wrong, I feel bad for Daisy, but I feel like Kelsey was sort of put in a weird position, but she handled it well. Okay, so then it is time. Joey is standing at his little proposal altar thing. Both of the ladies are on the vans, But they drove there together. What the hell? Why would they? I was so confused when they did that. But then Daisy is the first one to get down and meet up with him. So we know what that means. She goes up there. He gives his little speech about their connection and journey. She too tells him that um, this falling in love with him has been fun and it's been life changing for her. Then she says, I do love you. But the thing is, you're not going to choose me. Oh, she says that the last couple of days, it's been clear that they were not each other's person. And as much as it hurts her, she's going to do what's best for her and she's going to go. So she's crying. He's crying. I'm crying. No, I'm just kidding. But it was actually sad. It really was. But she was right. He wasn't going to pick her. So he tells her that he will miss her, that she is one of a kind and she's special and she deserves nothing but the best. He wants to walk her out, but she says, 
she thinks she should do it on her own. So she leaves. And also, all of those scenes of him crying, taking off his jacket and all that stuff. Yeah, the, all, remember all the Hatistas with? Yeah, it's from this moment. And then, I don't think this has ever happened before. So the reason why she wanted to leave alone is because Kelsey was out there waiting for her. And in a way, Daisy sort of gives her almost like a blessing of like, it's going to be you, girl. And like, your mom's going to be there in this moment. So enjoy it. So then when kelsey walks in she again wearing this angelic white dress so joey gives his little speech he says that this journey has been difficult but what is not difficult is him telling her that she is the one he wants to be with and build a life with so he then gets on one knee and says i want to spend the rest of my life with you will you marry me she says yes oh my gosh then he asks one last time will you accept this rose and she find and she says yes so he can finally say say i love you oh my gosh this was amazing wow so joey picked kelsey as his fiance so they transitioned then into the after the final rose joey comes out he talks about being surprised that daisy knew that it wasn't going to be her so then they bring daisy out they're they're all of them and she says that she's happy for him the proposal was beautiful she does congratulate him jesse asks when did she know it wouldn't be her she says that it was actually when rachel was sent home she said that last ceremony with rachel when she left and it was just the three of them she remembers how joey and kelsey looked at each other that look that they gave each other she definitely knew it was going to be them so she thinks his family in the audience she says that the last the last days were very anxious and he could tell that he wasn't gonna you know have a future with her especially that intentions thing that he said definitely threw her off but yeah she has a good support system and she's gonna be okay after that the newly engaged couple comes out together so joey says that his fur that this is his forever they're both so happy excited that they can now do things out in public she says that in jasper is when she knew that this would be real and then um obviously meeting the families and credit to to joey because he promised himself and he delivered he said he was not going to say the word i love you until he found that person and he held on to that he did not say that to he did say i'm falling in love with you but he never said i love you to no one until he did it with kelsey after the proposal so they talk a little bit more about the proposal he says why he loves her so much kelsey also talks about her late mother she says that she can feel her presence she would have loved joey very emotional kelsey was extremely vulnerable this season we got to give it up to her so after filming they say that it was hard to watch the show back but they've grown a lot so much you know since they've been together so what's next for the two of them well joey is going down to nola for now new orleans and then they plan to move to new york this summer love seeing kelsey's dad and family they have him say a few words he was very happy he congratulates them then jesse says that we could be seeing him pretty soon hmm then joey wants to tell everyone that he's so lucky and is looking forward to spend the rest of his life with kelsey and also they gave them a free vacation to jasper national park <laughs> then Jesse says that it's time to reveal the next bachelorette. Could it be this lady? Then he says, Daisy, walk on out. Now, my first reaction was, mm, okay. Listen, I was happy for her, but I wanted Rachel or Maria to be the bachelorette. But anyway, she comes out and she talks about it. She has touched a lot of people. One of the things Daisy said when she left back in Tulum is that, if I could love the wrong person this much, imagine how much I can love the right person. So Kelsey then comes out to congratulate her. They mention how they supported each other that last day by going together on that vehicle. They say they had a great friendship. But wait, Daisy was not the damn on Bachelorette. They literally lied to us. They tricked us. She says that she's not completely ready to just jump again into the dating pool. So now why would they do that? That's so messed up. So no, Daisy's not the Bachelorette. They then bring out Charity out here to pass the baton to the next Bachelorette. This time for real. It's Jen. Oh my gosh. Okay, now this I loved because it was unexpected and I did love Jen a lot. So she comes out to talk about what she's looking for and what she wishes she will get. She is going to be the first Asian Bachelorette in history. I love that. I love molds being broken. Representation definitely matters. So then all of Bachelor Nation who was there in the audience get on stage to wrap up season 28 of The Bachelor. Listen, you guys, I love this season. It was great. I thought it was genuine. I love that. I'm really, it makes me really happy when I'm happy for the couple that ends up being 
the fun, like the actual engaged couple. Because believe me, there's been times where that has not happened. So this was amazing. I truly wish Joey and Kelsey the best. I hope they can get married, have kids, and just have an incredible future. So that's a wrap for season 28 of The Bachelor. Wow. First of all, well, we're going to be here talking about The Bachelorette for sure, which will probably come on this summer. That's usually when they air it. But I just want to thank everyone um, who has been watching my videos here. I've loved coming on to talk about them after they've aired. It's been really fun doing this for all these weeks. I'm going to miss it. But again, thank you guys so much. It truly means a lot when y'all watch my videos and especially when y'all comment y'all thoughts. It It's... It, it's very great. So thank y'all for that. And I'll catch y'all next time, you guys. Bachelor Nation, we're going to be here strong. Y'all have a great one. Goodbye.